Yeah, it's going to be much nicer today and we can use some peace and quiet. Even the DTE crews, I'm sure they have to play some catch up based on what's going on. And we have yet two more systems that we have to track that could cause some more issues for us. Uh, the first one arrives tonight into your Wednesday morning and the second one, which is a stronger system, is going to hold off at least until Friday. So 37 outside right now, but dress for the wind chill. 28 degrees is what it feels like. A quick glance or a look at what we're tracking. More February warmth, so it's going to go out on a milder note, which is always nice. Despite the ugly start that we have with the clouds, even uh, that mist and the fog and the showers, it's going to be a milder finish as temperatures go back into the upper 40s. And then we're warming up again. We're bringing in March with numbers near the 50s, and we have more rain and snow to get through. And once again, we're tracking that wintry mess that's going to hold off until later this week. 32 degrees in Pontiac, Lapeer at 31, Howell at 35, and down towards Adrian, you're at 37. Not reporting in Monroe, but your highs or your temperatures, I should say, are also in the upper 30s. So we're finally going to clear these skies up a touch. We'll get some peaks of sunshine later this afternoon. Our next system holds off until later tonight, and that's why I'm expecting it to be a decent day overall. Going with the high of 46, you'll see it's going to be a little bit warmer to the south. Breezy at times, though. Those winds from the west-northwest can gust up to 30 miles per hour. In fact, they're doing that right now out the door, which you'll also feel those winds. As the rain gets out of here, another batch moves in that could mix with a little bit of snow. Temperatures are going to be pretty close to the freezing mark in some spots, so something else that we'll have to watch for you. And then once we get past that system first thing in the morning, numbers recover and we're going to warm up as we bring in March with temperatures back into the 40s. So the seven day forecast is not too bad temperature wise. 46 on Tuesday, 52 on Wednesday, despite that ugly start to the day. And then we'll shift focus to Friday. 34 will be the high temp. We're tracking another wintry mix that includes snow, but also sleet and ice. Can't rule it out just yet. Hopefully we'll get more snow, of course as temperatures fall back near the freezing mark.